Hey, great weather for this gig, man. You couldn't plan this some balmy evening in spring? That's good. Keeps the traffic down. We'll have the roads to ourselves. Yeah, I'd rather hit a car than spin into a ditch. Is this your form of free-floating anxiety? Worrying about road conditions? <laughs> yeah. All right, here you go. You are Federal Marshal <clears throat> Alex Gaston. And I am, of course, the ever-present Roger Hill. That one's yours. Good. <clears throat> Where's your ringlets? You cut them off? Yeah, right. <laughs> you overestimate my commitment. I hope not. Uh, you look good, like a fag. Yeah? Yeah. That it should come to this. Mm. Ooh. I hate wearing a wig. I'd rather shave my head. All right, dress codes aside. You ever ask yourself why I didn't take that nine to five job? What was I thinking? No, never. The secure life. Staying at one job your whole life. Half my family did that. I don't want to know about your family, Corinthos. Sure you do. Well, let's go into your personal history after we dance. Let's go. It's time to jam. Assuming we pull this off in Frank's front. Don't assume. We will. Oh, I know. You don't take advice easily or very often, but let me say it again. Stay sharp with Frank. Don't relax your guard. You too, brother. frozen to the marrow of my bones. Aww. Well, come on in. Take all this stuff off and go warm up by the fire. Oh. Right? I'm a certified ice block, <laughs> honestly and truly. <laughs> oh. You know, my toes aren't moving. And I honestly and truly don't think I felt my fingers in at least an hour. And what are those boys doing outside? I mean... Lucky and Sly look like two snowmen out there. Oh, they're having the time of their lives. They came in, they had some hot cider a little while ago. Went right back out again. Oh. Oh. So what brings you out in all this bad weather? Oh. A fire of all things. It's the first time today I've been warm. That was a horrible thing to say, wasn't it? The poor people's houses were burned down and I'm making a joke on it. Well, was anyone hurt? No. Thank goodness. The fireman got everybody out, so that's something. Oh, thank you. To be grateful for. Oh, it was just a few blocks from here. Mm. So I decided that I would stop by before I went home to get all, all ready for the wedding, you know, to see what time you and Luke were going. I like to travel in packs for these social events. Um, Luke isn't going to be able to make it because he's... I want to... really too bad, you know. I was I was looking forward to socializing. I thought maybe you get Luke and Sean in the same room, locked up together, they might, I don't know, relax a little bit. Yeah, well, you know, maybe one of these days, but I don't think we should count. <laughs> Why don't you and the boys sit with us? Oh, well, we'd love to. Are you any warmer? A little bit. Oh, well, good. Listen, I'm really glad that you stopped by because um, something's going on that I really want you to know about. Oh, no. What? No, it's something good. Good? Oh, yeah. good. Tell me. You know, I, I, I can't stand it. Suspense. Tell me. <laughs> I'm pregnant. No. Yes. No! Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> We're still in shock over. We just found out a little while ago, but... It really is very exciting. Well, of course it is. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, goodness. I... Come on now. I knew that this might be hard on you to hear this, but I just wanted to tell you so badly. I really did. And I guess I took a chance. I'm glad you did. I'm fine. Really, I am. And I am... I'm really, really, really thrilled about this. Oh, oh, don't buy any maternity clothes because I have so many things that you could borrow. I mean, my closet's just filled with them. Well, thanks. 
Tina, the last time all I wore was these stretch pants and loose big shirts. And by the time Lucky was born, I just felt like the worst dressed woman in the world. Oh, who must be beside himself? Yeah. Yeah. Is everything all right? Uh, yeah. Daydreaming. I'm daydreaming. It's probably my hormones or something. Well, tell me what Lucky said about it. Um, he was very excited. He said that he'd always wanted to be somebody's big brother. Well, he'll make a good one. Yeah. I know that we never talked about this before, but what about you and Sean? Will you try to have another baby? Uh, well, um, we want to have one, yes. Um... You know, I was checked out by the doctor after my miscarriage, and he said everything was okay. He just wanted me to wait a little while, you know. Well, then you could become pregnant. Right? Well, I don't see why not. I mean, we're keeping our fingers crossed, you know. But we did decide that uh, if I don't get pregnant again, that we're going to adopt. I mean, one way or the other, we're going to have our own little child. It's great. I think that you'd be a great mother. Don't talk about that. Uh, you're the one we got to fuss over right now, okay? All right, well, there's just one more little thing about you. Luke and I would like you <laughs> to be the godmother of our baby. Oh, that's so wonderful. Will you do that? Oh. Um, what? Does Luke really want that? Absolutely he wants that. Of course he does. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I would be so honored. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is the perfect time for you to have a baby. You know, I mean, you've got this beautiful house and you're not traipsing all over the world anymore playing hide and seek with that stupid mob. Oh, you come back to where you belong. You come home. All your friends where you're safe and sound. Go to. Well, Foster, looks like we're the only two with any sense to stay in here where it's warm, right? Come on. You. I really do know. Foster? Hey, Foster. Listen to me. Luke is going to be okay. 